This is about to go off. Now. The beauty of Nick and Simon is that you just want to hang out with them. You want to go down the pub with these two. You want to live with them. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, that run! I'll stop doing them when you stop laughing. The two of them together just make a great combination because they, you know, they can finish each other's sentences. They have this kind of innate chemistry that can only come from like lifelong friends. Come here, you big twat. It's a genuine friendship, and you can tell that there's genuine love for each other. You will always be my number one. Then why are you treating me like I'm a number two? You guys on honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> He's not my boyfriend. Might be a bit warm the coolers off. Thanks, babe. <laughs> always a pleasure to be around. They're always incredibly professional. They've always got a joke. They've always got a word. They're, 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 they're the real deal. It's easy for you to say. I've known him since primary school. You know, I like having him around. He's a lot. What, well, because he can impersonate an orangutan? <laughs> Nick's the force of nature. <laughs> yeah, Roy! Nick's an incredibly lovable guy. And just funny. Like, uh, he doesn't have to try. Very funny. Simon's just brilliant because he manages to produce this... So much goes through his face, which is just exciting. <laughs> He's got a great natural gift of where he visualises everything that he's doing and acts it out. It's what I do. They just bring out the best in each other because, because they love each other. And that's the truth. Thanks, partner. Don't leave me! Never. In this movie, you're told that they were the greatest friends and you sort of see it in a flashback. But when you cut to 2013, it's clear that something very bad has happened between them. Mr. Knightley? Felicity. You have a friend here to see you. No, I don't.